In a preview of tonight's special report, for homeschooling parents, the decisions don't stop when you decide to teach from home. Fox 21's Allie Miles is here to tell us about a type of homeschooling called unschooling. Allie? Joe, unschooling is best described as letting the students tell their parents what they want to learn. There's different curriculums for all homeschooling parents. Some have a very regimented curriculum, lots of tests, lots of homework, and some choose to have a more laid-back curriculum, learning more from life's experiences as well as following state guidelines. The idea behind unschooling is that the kids will pay more attention if it's something they've chosen to learn about. But one thing almost all homeschooling parents agree on is methods and lesson plans vary per child. I think if you ask a homeschooling family how they do it, it would be different for each of their children because it's, you know, all children are different. And coming up later in the show, we'll talk to an unschooling family about how they follow their own unconventional unschooling curriculum and attend Mountain Vista Homeschooling Academy. Joe? All right, very good. Thank you, Allie. Well, and there are several ways you can educate your child, but have you heard of unschooling? We'll show you how it works next in tonight's special report. To report public or private, charter schools or homeschooled. There's many ways to educate your child when it's the adult choosing the lesson plan. But as Fox 101's Allie Miles found out, there's even one way where the kids choose what they want to learn. Allie? Joe, it's called unschooling. Rather than having a set curriculum, planned worksheets, or tests, the students set the lesson plan. But what about the subjects the students don't want to learn about? Schooling has been interesting our whole life. Like, maybe two hours of school, and um, I skate three to four hours a day. Three to four hours a day, five to six days a week. Sometimes we skate Saturday. Every once in a while, we'll take it off. 17-year-old Joel, 15-year-old Rebecca, and 12-year-old Annabelle are used to spending time at the ice hall. I grew up at the rink there. But they're not used to spending a lot of time in the classroom. The kids uh, sometimes have told me that they think high school is like high school musical. The trio of siblings are national skating champs and homeschooled. I feel like my kids are happy. Um, they don't wake up in the morning worrying about anything that I worried about when I was in junior high and high school. But just like choosing between public or private schools, there's different ways to homeschool your kids. The Schneider Ferris family choose to be unschooled. Unschooling is kind of, I think, the more relaxed version of homeschooling. You kind of can choose your curriculum and just get the books you want. The concept behind unschooling is kids choose what they want to learn. That way they'll learn more if the subject is something they're interested in. What about stuff that you don't want to learn about? I still have to do that. I think a lot of the unschoolers mentality is that things will balance out and take care of themselves. The siblings don't always choose what they want to learn. One day a week they go to Mountain Vista Homeschooling Academy. What do you make the with? They come for enrichment activities in English, art, history, critical thinking, technology, and science. Started by homeschooling moms, the idea behind the academy is a place for extracurricular activities that don't interfere with homeschooling curriculum. But by the last time, you're just like, I want to go home. It's about understanding that all parents should be able to choose what they feel is best for their children without judgment as long as their children are being educated. And for the Schneider Ferris kids, the only problem they have with the way they're taught is the stereotypes that come with it. Homeschoolers aren't crazy. <laughs> Everyone, I think, has times when they wish they had someone else's life. I'm, but I think what I do is great, and I'm really happy with it. And so, I, no, I wouldn't change it at all. The sibling's mom, Joanne, says most homeschooling families actually are unschooling families. But because it seems so strange from an outsider's perspective, the families don't like to admit that they do unschool. Nikki? All right. All right. Thanks so much, Allie. Oh, man.